Hello, Fergal Carruth here, CEO of the Irish Athletic Boxing Association. For our members who are unable to attend our recent rulebook meetings around the country, I'd like today to give a background and context as to recent weeks and an understanding of the new rule changes that have been made for the IABA in our new rulebook 2017. I'd like to give a rationale around the changes made and why they were required for the association and I would like to point out what is envisaged now moving forward. Background and context. The IABA is 106 years old, has a proud history and a very large membership. We are the number one Olympic sport with 16 Olympic medals, so we have a right to be proud. Our governance now needs to match our success in the ring. It is important to have a structure and a rule book which meets the demands of a modern fit-for-purpose organisation. Governance is now central for all modern organisations and sport is no different. The legal and statutory obligations. The IABA is a company limited by guarantee and as a company the board of directors are ultimately responsible. The new Companies Act for 2014 brought in many changes, especially to the duties of directors, and we need to update our constitution to recognise the new law. The constitution for the IABA is our memorandum and articles of association. The Code of Good Governance for Sporting Bodies will be mandatory for the IABA in 2019. With so much of taxpayers' money being invested into sport, it means accountability, fairness and transparency will be sought from all sporting bodies. Governancecode.ie The Governance Code is set up with five pillars of governance, and they are the following. Leading your organisation, exercising control over your organisation, being transparent and accountable, working effectively and behaving with integrity. Recent media focus. Rio 2016 doping scandal and perceived poor performance has brought our governance more and more to the forefront. The Rio review was completed in autumn and the reported recommendations were sent to Sport Ireland. Some of these recommendations have become mandatory for the IABA. The IABA completed and published a strategic plan in December with these uh, mandatory recommendations made and embedded into the strategic plan. The new performance director Bernard Dunn was appointed in line with these recommendations. There was controversy surrounding the autonomy of the director and the selection following a central council meeting in May 2017. There was also controversy surrounding a split in the board. Sport Ireland and the Minister expressed views and concerns and gave a deadline to the board of the 30th of June for a new rule book to be put in place for DIABA. Rule book slash bylaws process. This sets out a timeline as to the current rule book and how it was adopted. 2015 saw recognition that a new rules were required and a draft put to the National Convention down in Ennis for discussion. November 2016, the board agreed to send rule books to Sarah O'Shea to come back with one fit for purpose rule book for the organisation. That draft rule book was returned in March 2017 and it was ready then for consultation. However, meetings could not be arranged to consult on that draft rule book. June 2017 saw a draft rule book which was paired back and passed by the board as an urgent matter. We could go back well before 2015 as there were versions of the rule book presented in 2009 and 2011 which I believe was narrowly defeated at convention. Many changes were made at convention since 2006 but were never centrally displayed which in itself was a corporate governance issue. There are benefits for people to understand that uh, there, are, there is history in around this rule book. However, in terms of moving progressively forward, it would be quite futile to argue each and every one of these dates and specifics around those matters. It would be far better for us moving forward 
as an organisation to now accept that this is our rule book and work on what may need to be amended within this moving forward. Structure of the IABA. Board, Central Council, Provincial Councils, County Boards, Clubs, Individuals slash Members. Policy, decisions, support, consultation and funding flows down from board level and from our members, our clubs, county boards, prov provinces and central council leads up uh, the structure of membership, participation, talent and elected representation. New rule changes. As a general comment, this is a modernised layout of a rule book. The language and contents and definitions are different. Rules 1 to 9 deal with the name and status, the strategy, mission and vision, objectives, international affiliation, membership and the removal from membership. Remember the last rule book was before the incorporation of the company and this rule book sets out and acknowledges the company status and board of directors. Remember we also had to change our our name, removing the word amateur from our title. New rule changes, rules 10 to 17, sets out overall structure, governance and bodies of the IABA. The board of directors, the officer board, central council, provincial councils and county boards and sets out their powers, roles and constitution. New rule changes 18 to 21 are largely unchanged. They set out the annual convention, extraordinary convention, AGM of the company and EGM of the company. Rules 12 to 30 sets out the role of all officers and other positions. Chairperson, vice chair, president, vice president, honorary secretary, company secretary, honorary treasurer, registrar, medical commission and medical commissioner. Rules 31 to 41 sets out the various committees set up or will be set up by the IABA. They include the High Performance Advisory Board, the Nominations and HR, Child Welfare and Vetting Review Panel, Finance and Audit Committee, Championship, Anti-Doping, Judges and Referees, Selection of Non-High Performance Teams, Coaching, and rules committees. These committees will be constitution, constituted by the board and have a terms of reference established by the board. If anybody would like to put their names forward for any of these committees, we would be very happy to receive your applications by email to the rulebook at iaba.ie. Concentrating on new rule changes 31 to 41. I'd now like to just set out the constitution of the High Performance Advisory Committee. This committee will be made up of two Central Council members, one board member, two independent experts, a CEO and a High Performance Director who will represent the High Performance Team. This was a recommendation from the post Rio review and it's classified as mandatory from Sport Ireland. In all other sports, this would be standing procedures where the high performance director would have autonomy for decisions but a committee to agree an overall policy. For clarity, the high performance director and his team will have autonomy to select high performance teams. How do new rules get changed? The new rules committee will be set up to consider all proposals for rule changes. Proposals for rule change can come in from any member of the IABA or can be proposed internally from the board or the rules committee. The rules committee will discuss proposals and ensure they are compliant with company law and best practice. As per new rule 41.3, proposed changes will then be sent by the rules commission to the board of directors for consideration. Proposed rules will then be put to our members at annual convention. In time this will be the AGM once members have been included as AGM members. 
continuing on with new rule changes, rules 42 to 45 deal with codes of conduct for our officials and athletes, athlete agreements, com championships, competitions, tournaments and travel permissions. 46 to 54 sets out the financial and legal provisions. This is a very important slide in terms of the continuously improving corporate governance levels of the Irish Athletic Boxing Association. Rules 55 to 56 are largely unchanged. These set out the boxing rules, record books, medical exams, weigh-ins, rounds, draws, boys and seeding and championship categories. Into the future, these may be taken from this particular book and put into a competition rules book or a championship rules book. This would sit under a separate document so that changes can be made with greater ease for our membership as they would not have any significant governance um, issues or concerns for the board. It would be better should these changes need to be amended quickly that they could. New rule changes 57 to 70 sets out the new disciplinary rules and procedures for the IABA. Who do the rules apply to? What are considered offences? What type of sanctions can be given? New betting and gambling rule has been introduced. Discipline can be carried out by the high performance director or head coach and they can take immediate action. There is a new disciplinary structure in place and it sets out how the panels will be uh, formed and constituted and how hearings and procedures will take place. It also deals with how people can um, appeal any decision made. The new disciplinary internal process sets out from the initial complaint or breach of rules all the way down to the international appeal to the Court of Arbitration for Sport and all the processes in between. It sets out how a new disciplinary officer will be brought in from the legal profession and will be independent of the sport and will charge or investigate matters and bring to hearing if necessary. It sets out the disciplinary and appeals committees, how they are set up. It sets out the external independent appeal how it, and how that may be pursued through Just Sport Ireland. This, is, this process will be replicated as near as possible by provincial councils and county boards. New rule changes set out in the appendices again are largely unchanged. Each one sets out the additional or specific rules which apply to the following bodies who are still also bound by all the general rules. They are the provincial councils, county boards and clubs. One of the biggest changes within this rule is that the child protection officer can no longer hold the role of another member of a committee such as a treasurer, president or secretary. Summary of the changes. This is a modernised rule book with all matters brought together in one document, including the board. Transparency and better visibility around the powers and duties and responsibilities of everyone in the IABA. Sets out the accountability, refinances, expenses and oversight. Autonomy, read the high performance selection to the high performance director. The new committee structure within the organisation how membership and affiliation will be centralised from next year onwards and a new disciplinary system and structures. The rule book is a living document and will never be finished but must be continuously updated and its most recent form must be complete and accessible to all within our organisation. This will be found on our website from time to time. So thank you for watching the video. I hope it helps to aid people's understanding of matters surrounding the recent weeks for the Irish Athletic Boxing Association. I hope it sheds further light on the rule changes that have been made for the organisation and why they were required. If you'd like to put your name forward for any of the committees set out within the rule book or make any recommended changes to the rule book, please do so by sending an email 
to rulebook at iaba.ie or hard copy to the National Stadium, South Circular Road, Dublin 8. Once again, thank you for watching the video and I wish you and your club the very best for the coming season.